Hey everybody, Brandon here from CAD Intentions, and in today's Two Minute Tuesday, we're going to be taking a look at three quick ways to rotate your viewports in layout space. Uh, I think these are going to save you a lot of time and simplify the whole process for you. If you guys like this video or some of the tips on the channel, don't forget to check out my AutoCAD productivity webinar. I'll put the link down below as well as up top. Uh, it's an hour long packed full of tips, uh, tricks and workflows that are going to save you a bunch of time with your drafting. Uh, let's jump into this one. Don't forget to like and subscribe down below if this video has helped. Let's get going. <laughs> All right, so as I mentioned, we're going to take a look at three different ways to rotate your viewports. Uh, so I've got three viewports here set up so we can demo each way. Uh, first up, we're going to be taking a look at MV setup, so model view setup. Uh, to use it, you're going to want to be outside of any of your viewports like I am right now, so not uh, double clicked in one. You want to be in paper space and you can check that down below here uh, by making sure you're in paper. To begin, you want to type in MV setup and then enter and it's going to ask you what you'd like to do. You want to choose align and then you want to choose rotate view. It's going to default to one of the viewports. You can simply select a different one if you'd like. Uh, we're going to use this one. It's going to ask you for your base point and this is the point about which you want to rotate the viewport. You can choose a point in particular, especially if you want to rotate along a line to say line up a property line or line up a wall. Let's say 45, you want to have it up and down or whatever. In our case, I'm just going to rotate this entire view 45 degrees based on the center. So I'm just going to click in the middle here and it's going to ask me for an angle. So I'm going to choose 45 degrees and hit enter. So one nice thing about this command uh, along with the others I'm going to show you is they're not going to rotate in every viewport. This is a viewport specific rotation. So I'm going to just hit enter again twice here to end the command. You can also hit escape and you can see when I double click in here that it's moving around. It's not affecting my other viewports. I can change to them and regen and it's not going to rotate, but you can tell by clicking on these objects here or hovering over them that they're all the same floor plan. It's just that this one viewport now has been rotated and you can see based on the view cube up here or your UCS that everything is at a 45 degree angle. I'm gonna double click outside of this viewport now and then we're gonna try out the second option. All right, so that last one was MV setup. This next one we're gonna try out, we're gonna use the VP rotate association uh, variable. So to use it, we're gonna go, go to uh, we're going to hover over our next viewport. We're going to type in VP rotate association, like it says on the bottom, ATE ASSOC. Hit enter and make sure that is set to one and then hit enter again. So now that it's set to one, we can simply select our viewport. Now you don't want to double click inside of it. You can just select it. Now you can right click and choose rotate or just simply use the RO for rotate and then choose a base point once again. So this one's going to allow us to simply just rotate the view itself. So if I just hit the center here, you can see I can go at uh, 90 degrees there or I can just simply rotate it any way I want. And this is going to rotate the view along with what's inside of it. Now this one has its uses. Uh, it's quick and it can allow you to align things with your layout or paper space really quickly. I prefer the other options typically, uh, but this one does have its use cases. Now, let's move on to the third option, and that's going to be the D view command. So once again, we want to activate the viewport in this one, similar to the MV setup. Uh, in once we're inside or active in a viewport, you can simply type in D view, hit enter again to choose all of the objects in your drawing, or you can select objects individually uh, or using a bounding box. I'm just going to hit enter to choose everything. And here you're going to get a bunch of options. D view is most used to, uh, to rotate and view 
uh, 3D objects in different perspectives or projections. Uh, but you can also use it to simply rotate it or twist it in this case. So we're going to use the twist option, so TW. And this is just going to twist it or rotate it uh, about the view that we're looking at, which in our case is a top down of a floor plan. But if you had, say, a 3D object or a 3D building, you could also uh, pan or orbit using this command. So we're going to hit enter and it's going to ask us for a specific twist angle. So this is nice if you want something more uh, particular than just rotating it in the viewport or rotating the entire viewport. So in this case, let's try a 33 uh, degree angle. And then to end the command, you can simply hit enter. So now you can see our objects in this viewport have been rotated, but not affected in this viewport or this viewport uh, at the same time. So all three of these can be used to rotate specific parts or views in different orientations while not actually affecting the model. So if we double click back into our model space or click on the model tab, you can see that our object is still uh, facing up and oriented the way it was to begin with. But each of our views now has a different rotation value uh, and a different method with each way. So these are three quick options that will allow you to rotate your views and save you a bunch of time in AutoCAD. One tip that you'll want to pay attention to as well is that your viewport is not locked. Uh, so you can make sure that these are going to work for you by clicking the unlock or lock icon down here. If it's solid, the view is locked and it's not going to let you uh, move or rotate objects within it. As always, thank you guys for watching. If you'd like more tips, don't forget to check out that AutoCAD productivity webinar of mine. Uh, I'll put that link up above and in the description below. Uh, thank you guys for watching and uh, have a good one. Cheers. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to check out my last video right here. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe up here to make sure you're up to date and you see all my new videos. Thanks again. Cheers.